before i get started uh, first of all i would like to thank the entire postman galaxy team for uh, inviting me and uh, giving me this opportunity to present this talk today uh, so thank you so much so the topic for today as you can see is uh, 3d data visualization using 3.js so a brief introduction about me so my name is Karan and I'm coming uh, from uh, Mumbai, India. So I've been born and brought up in India and I've been primarily working as an Android de developer for the past like five years, five plus years now. I've also been working on technologies like AI, AR and VR. But if you ask me what do I do most of my day, like in during most of my day, it's using Postman, I would say. So as an independent developer, I use a Postman to you know, develop and test APIs either on cloud or on premise. And also more recently, I've been using the data visualization feature as well. And apart from being passionate about technology, I would say I also love writing poems. I like to travel to different places across the globe and uh, meet new people and share my ideas as well. So uh, that's about me in a nutshell. So coming to the topic for today. So data visualization using Postman. So this kind of feature is not, I would not say it's something new. It's It's been there for quite some time. And uh, as the name implies, data visualization actually helps you to visualize your responses into something more meaningful, something more uh, you know appealing so that your API consumers can actually understand your responses in a more uh, in a more better manner and a more user friendly manner so as a developer one can actually leverage this feature not only to visualize your responses but here a developer can actually you know use web technologies like javascript html and css to bring together something which is you know something which can help you either to better visualize your responses or you know to display data in terms of like graphs or charts or any other uh, new in a form that can help you uh, make that data or the response that you get from apis you know something more understandable so that is what this uh, you know tool or what this feature is basically offers you everyone all developers and everyone who uses this tool so um, talking about uh, you know how we can leverage uh, you know certain web technologies so i mentioned about javascript css and html and uh, one such framework or one such uh, uh, framework that i personally you know came across and i use it quite a lot is something called as 3.js now 3.js uh, is a very popular uh, cross browser javascript li li library out there which is basically used to create and display 3D content, so in the form of animated graphics, you know, that way it can be used to, to render these kind of objects. Uh, the good thing about it, it also supports WebGL. So WebGL, if, you, um, if you're not aware, it's a very popular uh, standard that has been supported by almost every browser nowadays, be it on web or on mobile. Uh, the good thing about this framework is that it's also open source. And um, the main uh, features, or it actually helps to interact or uh, you know involve uh, 3d graphics and make users interaction possible you know with this kind of graphics as well so that is one of the main highlights i would say of this particular framework so moving to the next slide so right now i like to you know pause and first of all give you a quick demo of what i'm going to talk talk about in the remaining slides so i'm just switching to my postman tab over here so as you can see i have already this uh, you know a request lined up where which I'm going to you know hit right now and this is basically a, a very simple example I have taken the example of the COVID-19 data set which is available online and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually send a request through Postman and I'm actually going to show you how the visualize tab can be used so as you can see you have a visualizer you have the visualize tab and in that tab you have this particular object visualize so as so what you can do is that you can actually interact with this so you can actually rotate it you can pan it you can tilt you can even zoom it so okay so this is all possible using data visualization so this is what uh, you know an example you know a very simple example by which 3d data visualization can be done and all this information basically is coming from an api and uh, the 3.js framework basically is used to create or render all this you know all this response data into this particular format 
So maybe a quick walkthrough of a code in, in, the, in that sense also would help because I think most of you who are looking to customize their solutions can you know, leverage this. So the, the, the idea behind this actually is to create something called as a WebGL context. So that is nothing but an object that is uh, you know, exposed by the 3.js framework and then pass in that context to a library. So in this case, I'm also using another library called uh, tchartjs, which is basically for displaying charts and graphs. And this particular uh, library basically takes in a WebGL context, which is nothing but our 3.js object. And then basically you can create something of this sort where you can you know, either have pie charts or you can have graphs or you can have any sort, sort of visualization medium by which you can you know, visualize your data. So this is how it would work. Now coming to the highlights of this solution. So as I mentioned before, this is something that I've been uh, working on, but this is uh, using the COVID-19 data set, which is uh, available online. It can be used by everyone. Uh, this, the, the advantages of this kind of a solution is that you can easily customize it as per your requirements. So I mentioned that it can be used uh, in any particular you know, uh, environment where you need to customize or you need to modify your uh, responses to make it appeal or make it look differently so it can be done and if you want it in 3d i would you know recommend using this kind of a framework as well again uh, something more enhancement can be done in terms of augmented reality where you can actually leverage something called as 3.ar.js which is again a very popular um, framework if you want to you know go for ar kind of views and then, as I mentioned, this particular uh, framework does support tracking, zooming, panning, and rotating, which basically helps you to, you know, visualize or you know, showcase this the entire response in a more, you know, more user-friendly manner. And the support for bar graphs, area charts, and line charts are also there as well. So, um, so there are some points that I would like to also highlight, uh, you know, about this uh, particular approach. That 3.js is uh, neither it's neither it's neither uh, information visualization uh, library nor it's nor does it provide any interface for actually visualizing or defining your data. What it actually provides you is something uh, with something uh, primitive structures. You can say it, it actually provides you with uh, meshes, planes, and spheres that you can actually leverage and build your custom logic around that to visual to make uh, 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 to visualize something that you can create either using you know these kind of uh, frameworks or you can actually even combine uh, 3.js with with another well known framework called d3 so d3 again it's a charting library that can even further enhance the whole visualization experience so this is just i would say the beginning but if you you know if you want to plan to go and integrate it with other frameworks, I think this is also very much possible as well. So overall, I would say using the Postman Visualizer tool, so what is the advantage of this particular approach? So as a developer, normally we, whenever we are asked to you know, uh, visualize our responses, we actually go about the standard way of you know, developing a web page and then getting the data from an API and displaying them uh, you know, in uh, charts and graphs. But using the postman visualizer tool you can you can actually make all this you know integrated into that into postman itself but you need not actually develop a separate web page or something you can actually leverage those skills and integrate it into the visualization uh, you know tab and then write a particular script that can make this whole experience you know make user friendly and uh, you know more understandable so that is one of the advantages that this particular tool also has to offer so uh, these, there are some references that uh, you know one can also go through. So I have uh, there are some learnings actually from here where you can pick it up and you can also enhance it. So that is uh, about it. So uh, first of all, thank you so much and uh, thank you everyone for joining this session. So if you have uh, any questions or any queries, uh, please feel free to uh, post it down in the comments. Or if you have any other queries as well, you can always uh, reach out to me uh, via email and I'll be very happy to respond to them as soon as possible. So once again, thank you and uh, really have a nice day as well. Go ahead. Well, thank you so much, Kron. Uh, like he mentioned, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email him. And um, it was a great session. Um, I am going to run to my next session. Um, if anybody cares to join the next uh, session and sort of the developer track is upgrading your collections, um, you can find the link to that in the reception page or under sessions. So thank you all. We look forward to uh, seeing you at our next session. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye. Thank you.